All right, we are live at 11.05. It's Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. We had a great weekend in the Ozarks. Uh, had a storm go through, but then there's a storm going through everywhere. But beautiful weather. Got to work in the barn, play with the goats, blah, blah, blah. Other exciting stuff happened for Spirit. I mean, big, big, big news, but we'll share that later. Um, I'm BC. This is Spirit Cars, and we are live at 1105. And this will probably get uploaded onto T Bucket TV too. We haven't actually started doing that format yet, but we're going to load it on both. And this is T Bucket related. And what we're going to do is uh, put this brake kit on the back of a Chevy. It's a Chevy 10 bolt. We use a lot of 10 bolts on our. Uh, on our 23 bodies, uh, they come out of an S10. If you uh, get a regular S10, four-wheel drive S10, a Blazer S10, that's not four-wheel drive, it's a little shorter, 48 inches, backing plate to backing plate. If it's a um, four-wheel drive Blazer, S10 Blazer, it's 52 inches, which is perfect for like a 27 or a C-cab or whatever. Just a really good rear end. I mean, you can, you can beat them up and they still handle a lot. So anyway, we've got the kit here. Um, pretty basic. Now you're gonna have a backing plate on the uh, rear end when you get it. So you're gonna have to pull, pull the cover and pull the axle to get your backing plate out. And we've got this one painted already, but here's the, the kit comes, it's pretty simple. It's just a bracket. Put your bracket, the bracket goes on the inside. Now there is a left and a right. And you do want the, the caliper to be on the back side of the uh, of the caliper of the uh, rotor. So I mean it could fit this way, I suppose, which would be backwards. And again, you can see the little spacers on the kit right here. If I would put the other side on, it would make it too close. And then what'll happen is the caliper won't sit centered in the in the rotor. But I mean it is about as basic and as a person can get. There's three bolts. Goes on. One, two, three. Goes on where the backing plate bolts were. They got a lock nut on them. Just put them on. There's actually room so you can get get the bolt in there. Sometimes like on a forward axle or something there'll be some holes in here to actually get in there and do some stuff. But you don't need to worry about that on the on this 10 bolt. Got my washer in. Again, we're just doing live so you can watch me tighten bolts. Just deal with it. So it looks like we're all locked in for a little while longer, so it's a good time to watch videos and build hot rod cars. We're all working here. We have not really, thank you Lord, been too affected here in the Ozarks. I think we've got one case of the sniffle, so it's been reported anyway. Two improper tools that'll both work. I got a line wrench, of course, and a, and a ratchet wrench. Okay, there we go. You don't really need to see me tighten all three, so I'll get this one tight, and you can get an idea then how the caliper is going to go on. But definitely make sure things are tight. Um, just for the sake of time on a video, I'm just putting them together. But check it, check it twice, check it three times, go over before you drive it, check it again. Uh, take your car out for the test drive, bring it back in, check all your nuts and bolts. Last thing you want is some stupid accident because a bolt wasn't tight or something like that. The way the rotor comes, it's, you can go either Ford or Chevy. It's got both dual pa patterns. So since this is a Chevy, I'm going to go with the four and three quarters. leader should go up towards the top. You can see it fits in, you got space. 
Now the piston is going to push it out and the caliper will move back and forth. You can see on the pin here what will happen is there's a threaded area here. The threads are threads into the uh, to the bracket itself and then this big collar area and there's a little neon a rubber washer in there. there uh, so you put it in, just tighten it down. It's an Allen on the back here. Tighten these down here. Tighten these down here. Then as you your brake comes together, you can see the pistons in here. It's basic hydraulics. If you push oil in, it's got to push that piston out. As it push that piston out, it it actually the caliper itself centers going back and forth, and it puts equal pressure on both of the brakes that way. So that's all there is to it. It doesn't take that much. Um, probably the biggest issue, and in, in all their different rear ends are. Uh, on the 10 volt, it's just got a pin that holds that axle in. You cut, take that pin out, and the axle will slide right out. That'll get your backing plate off. Pretty simple. That's it. That was a quick 1105, wasn't it? We're under five minutes. So like us if you like us. Uh, share us if you like us. That would be helpful for us. Wise words of the day. What's that? Wise words of the day. Oh, I don't have any wise words of the day. Well, this is a good. This is good. A good name is worth more than silver and gold. How's that one? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, this ain't about a time about making money. It ain't about a time about, I mean, there's a lot of opportunities out right there. There's people having trouble times. Just be a good neighbor. We were talking about being neighbors today. Somebody asked me if, uh, my, our camera person asked me, do I, do I know my neighbors? Well, yeah. She went around and lost her puppy. Let's, let's pray your puppy comes home. But all the neighbors knew her grandpa. He probably lived there for a long time, no? So, yeah, I know all my neighbors. We've lived where we live a long time. I did move next door, but we kind of expanded our property. And uh, it's a big deal. We live in a new time. This is, it used to be you knew your neighbors. You cared about the other guy. Now it might seem like we live in a, the age of the selfie. It's all about me, it's about me. Well, if you're about you and you and your neighbors about you, and everybody's about them, and everybody's about themselves. Well, nobody cares about the other guy. Well, let's uh, let's let's try to change that, and do something for somebody today. That would be good. That's even a better word for wisdom. So, do that. We got us a uh, rear disc brakes on there. Juan, that's for you. And um, let's see. We may do uh, master cylinder tomorrow. We may do calipers tomorrow. We'll just do something on the tea bucket tomorrow also. So stay tuned. Have a great day. It's all going to be good. See you tomorrow.